And now our student board members report. Thank you. Good evening. I first want to say how much Roger was a great mentor and a leader and how he always fought to put students first while having a smile on his face and he will truly be missed. Kindness Matters Month ended with a great summit with students from across the county starting up conversations as we were joined by our superintendent on both the middle and high school days, giving us advice and emphasized that every student should have an adult in the building whom they trust. I hope we carry out the acts, of, the acts of October throughout the school year and our lives. November's theme is deleting negativity, words matter. So be sure to show us what your schools are doing to support this month's theme. Since October 8th, I have been doing school visits, talking to students individually, listening to their concerns, and hearing what they want to see from BCPS. So far, I have reached Sparrows Point Middle and High, Lansdowne High School, Franklin High School, Ridgely Middle School, Patapso High School, and Parkville Middle and High. Most of the concerns I heard were school-based issues, and I encourage students to work with their administrators to fix these issues. But one of the more serious issues I came across was at Parkville High. This is an issue that, on, that not only affects Parkville, but other ESOL programs. Students who are enrolled in ESOL travel to this program and, not, and are not housed at their home schools. This does not allow students the opportunity to become involved in school clubs or activities since transportation after school is an issue for them. About 700 students participate in the Parkville ESOL program. This seems to be an inequity for these students since school isn't just about class learning, but the clubs and sports that we participate in that shape us. I would ask us as a board to consider how we can adjust the upcoming budget requests to allow for activity buses so all students, not just ESOL, have an opportunity to participate in extracurricular activities. I will continue to be doing visits throughout the year and try to reach as many students as possible. As to the calendar, I have heard from students personally and through the Baltimore County Student Council that students prefer a post-Labor Day calendar with both the Jewish and Muslim holidays closed for the 2020-21 school year. Students, please continue to invite me to your schools and events. As always, feel free to contact me on Twitter, Instagram, or email. Let's finish the quarter off strong and strive to keep up the drive and energy throughout the winter and the second quarter. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rashid.